The iliotibial tract or iliotibial band is a longitudinal fibrous reinforcement of the fascia lata. The action of the ITB and its associated muscles is to extend, abduct, and laterally rotate the hip. In addition, the ITB contributes to lateral knee stabilization. During knee extension the ITB moves anterior, while knee flexion moves the ITB posterior. It originates at the anterolateral iliac tubercle portion of the external lip of the iliac crest and inserts at the lateral condyle of the tibia at Gerdes tubercle. The figure shows only the proximal part of the iliotibial tract. The part of the iliotibial band which lies beneath the tensor fasciae lati is prolonged upward to join the lateral part of the capsule of the hip joint. The tensor fasciae lati effectively tightens the iliotibial band around the area of the knee. This allows for bracing of the knee especially in lifting the opposite foot. The gluteus maximus muscle and the tensor fasciae lati insert upon the tract. Clinical significance The IT band stabilizes the knee both in extension and in partial flexion, and is therefore used constantly during walking and running. In leaning forwards with slightly flexed knee the tract is the main support of knee against gravity. Iliotibial band syndrome is a common thigh injury generally associated with running. It can also be caused by cycling or hiking. The onset of iliotibial band syndrome most commonly occurs in cases of overuse. The iliotibial band itself becomes inflamed in response to repeated rubbing on the outside of the knee or swelling of the bursa between the bone and the tendon on the side of the knee. ITB syndrome can also be caused by poor physical condition, lack of warming up before exercise, or drastic changes in activity levels. Symptoms of iliotibial band syndrome may include pain on the outside of the knee at the beginning of exercise which persists through the exercise or specific movements like running downhill and having the knee bent for prolonged periods of time. It is usually developed by people who suddenly increase their level of activity, such as runners who increase their mileage. Other risk factors for ITBS include gait abnormalities such as overpronation, leg length discrepancies, or bow leggedness. ITB syndrome is an overuse condition of the distal ITB near the lateral femoral condyle and at Gerdes tubercle. The most vulnerable range of knee flexion for this condition is at 30 to 40 degrees. This is where the ITB crosses the lateral femoral epicondyle. Postural function, the IT band is of critical importance to asymmetrical standing. The upward pull on the lower attachment of the IT band thrusts the knee back into hyperextension thereby locking the knee and converting the limb into a rigid supportive pillar. References This article incorporates text in the public domain from the 20th edition of Gray's Anatomy, 1, Carnes, M. and Viziak, N. Quick Reference Evidence-Based Conditions Manual, 3rd edition. Professional Health Systems Incorporated, Canada, PG. 240-241. 2, Evans P. The Postural Function of the Iliotibial Tract. Anna Kolserg Engel 1979 Jill. 61, 4, 271 80. PMC 2492187, 3, Saladin. Anatomy and Physiology, 7th edition. McGraw Hill PG 347, 4, Akatho to B, Still Pesque, Lento P, Gonzalez P. Iliotibial Band Syndrome. In, Frontera W., Silver J.K., Shitso T.D. Jr., Eds. Essentials of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation, 2nd ed. St. Louis, Missouri, W.B. Saunders Elsevier, 2008, Chap 60.